Hi everyone, I'm back. I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and business strategist and your marketing mastermind at TotalGenius.net. And today, I hope you're ready to rock out. First of all, because my neighbor decided to rock out on Pink Floyd today. So if you hear loud music in the background, that's what that is. Uh, second of all, we're gonna talk about funnels. So in actuality, we're gonna talk about a funnel. And it's a funnel that you may not have in your business because you've been learning all these other funnels that everyone's teaching you. So this is something that is, uh, it's so simple that I think a lot of people just overlook it or they think it's not possible because it's not the common practice of what everybody else is teaching about how to strategize your business and how to actually get clients to, uh, to pay you. And then in addition, how you get the clients that love you and want to uh, buy your high-end programs. And this becomes a very big problem. And so we're gonna talk about funnels today, or a funnel, except it's, it's an upside down funnel. So most people are teaching, or at least this is the way that, that, um, that well, this is really what most people are teaching, is that you have a funnel that starts at the top and you slowly attract people to, um, to maybe opt into your freebie opt-in, to then maybe buy like a $7 product, to then, you know, moving them up the funnel to like a $30 product, to then moving them to like a $100 product or whatever. And then you think that the people that want to pay you for a high value something or other, like a signature program that sells for thousands, uh, is gonna be that same person that downloaded the freebie opt-in and bought the $7 product. And sometimes that is the case. But this is where the difficulty comes in, is that what I see and in, in when my clients come to me, usually what has ended up happening is that they, they may have a funnel and they probably have a freebie opt-in and they probably have like some sort of low value, whatever it is that they have, except it never gets past that. And in the meantime, their, their bank account is, uh, is empty <laughs> and there's crickets in there instead of dollars. And why this happens is that people that want to work with, and I'm speaking specifically for people that sell high value things, like you sell a transformation in people. The thing is, is that people that want a transformation usually are ready to spend money. They may not consciously tell themselves that, but what you're marketing so I'm gonna be talking about this tomorrow in my masterclass, The Five Figure Formula. What you're marketing is the urgent problem. You're selling the, the problem that you solve, which is whatever it is that, that you're selling. But the urgent problem that you solve is urgent. If I had a mouse in my bed and, and I needed to go and get that I realize I have a, a rat problem. You don't think I'm going to open the phone book. Well, I guess they don't make phone books anymore. I'm going to look on Google and get a rat exterminator here as soon as possible. That's an urgent problem. So if you have an urgent problem, so let's say like one of my clients, she um, helps people cure their autoimmune disorder. And so when we build their their business, it's an upside down funnel. So when, when they start, this is always what I recommend, is that yes, you should have like a freebie opt-in or something like that. And you can even have a low value something. But what you should really be selling 
is your high value, whatever it is that you sell, your high value coaching program, your high value thing, and you come across as a high value person so that people understand that you have a high value product. You know, this is something that I think that very, um, if you're around a lot of other entrepreneurs who are not doing this upside down funnel, you get a very skewed perception of the way people value things. So I'll just equate this into something that's very simple and easy to understand. If I have a Kmart store and I have a Neiman Marcus over here, the Neiman Market, Marcus person is going to go to Neiman Marcus for Neiman Marcus quality or, or uh, products. And the Kmart person is going to go to Kmart for, for whatever it is that they, why ever they go to Kmart. Usually it's to save money. So if you're selling a Neiman Marcus item and you're coming across as a Kmart store, do you see the difference? And what you really have to understand, you're going, this doesn't apply to me, you know, that's like a, a physical business. Well, in fact, it actually does apply to you. Because the way that people's minds work and how we perceive things is how we perceive things. <laughs> it doesn't suddenly switch when we go online. Because our perception of value and price still remains the same. So this is not to say that, you know, if you, if you only sell low price things, that's great because that's your positioning and that's how you position yourself. But if you have a high end, whatever it is that you sell, then you need to come across as a high end business so that you attract people who want what it is that you really sell. You know, this is what I call a solid business foundation that you have something that you sell that when you understand how many clients you can are able to work with every month, how many clients you are and do attract every month and how many people pay you money so that you can make a monthly income. This is why that get client mindset is just wrong. It's, it's not that you wait and you try to get a client and then if you make your monthly income, you make it. You have a business and this is about having a CEO mindset. A CEO plans for the success of their company. They don't sit and wait and, and try to learn new things so that they can slowly pull people in. They go, I have a client, if you're a restaurant, you know, you, you like, I need to fill all these tables tonight. I don't wait until, I don't just serve dessert until I get enough people who want my dessert and then decide that suddenly now I'm gonna sell the five course meal that I normally sell. But I was too afraid to present that in the beginning, right? I mean, if you look at any business, if, if you are like a, a physical store, I, I like to equate this to physical stores because this is something that everybody will understand. Let's say that, that you, you have a physical store. Let me, I'm just trying to think of it. A gap. You don't open the gap and just put a t-shirt on the table and say, okay, if people buy that $7 t-shirt, then I'll reveal that I have maybe a pair of jeans that go with it. And eventually, months from now, when I have enough people buying that $7 t-shirt and some jeans, maybe I'll roll out the entire store that I have planned. That's, that, that's just, it's kind of, if you really look at it, how people are going about their business. What you need to understand is, is this is the difference between selling or mar I'm sorry, marketing the urgent problem and then just trying to market something that's very, that's just a problem. You know, um, 
I, I have a detox. I can help you lose weight. That's a problem. So yes, people spend money for that. But the urgent problem is I'm trying to lose weight because my doctor said I'm going to die in six months if I don't get this weight off my body. Or I have a severe health condition and I need to get it fixed or I can't get a job or go to work or date. There's, there's a very big difference there. And that means that the quality of your client that you're attracting is very different. And so rather than slowly trying to, to get people in, it's presenting this upside down funnel up front. So as I said, this does not mean you, you don't have a freebie opt-in. This does not mean you don't have articles. But this means that then in your own mind, you understand what it is that you sell, which is so much deeper than just what it is that is the base thing that everybody else sells. So that when you speak to people, when you market your, yourself, and when you write articles and all of that, you're understanding the pain that somebody feels. And then how to get and understand their emotions so that they feel understood. You know, the upside down funnel, to somebody who doesn't understand it, it seems like a very um, too direct approach. But if you understand people's pain and that urgent problem that people feel, how when they go to bed at night, they can't sleep or they worry about it, or they wake up not feeling good enough. Those are urgent problems that if you can get it to the right person and position yourself as the answer, they will pay you money. You will have a business. You will make the amount of money you want to make every month, and you'll be helping the world as a whole. I talked about fear yesterday, and fear is the thing that gets in everybody's way. You're, you're afraid of judgment, and this is not about you know doing something that is, is wrong. This is about positioning yourself as the high value that you are, who solves an urgent problem. You know, you can, you can have the upside down funnel and not worry about all the, the little, little things that you're doing. Because what you really want to be doing is spending your time marketing the high value thing that you have. Recently, it was just last week, one of my clients, she had fallen into the whole trap of, um, you know, when, when we first worked together and she, um, we, she finished, we were finished working together. One month after we worked together, she got two clients high-end clients. She was like rocking away. And then she fell into the trap of thinking about building all these funnels and doing all these things. And what ended up happening is that she ended up building all these funnels and doing all these things that weren't bringing her the income that she wanted. And so just the other week, she said to me, I'm ready to just market my, my signature program. And I said, Hello, that's what we did. That's what we built. She said, I'm, I now see where my, my real value is and, um, and I'm, I'm just ready to, to do that route. So what you have to understand is that you're ready. If you have something, a gift that you've learned and, or you've, um, you've uncovered or you've fixed for yourself, then it's your job to go and help people with it the best way that you can, which is presenting it to people and not being afraid because people will say no, you will get judged regardless if you do that or not. But this time you're going to have a business that's going to keep going because you're going to have an income and you're going to understand who it is that you help and why you exist. Those things, all are very important and I know sometimes people lose track of it because you just get so caught up in what everyone else is teaching and thinking that that's right because maybe you're, you're not getting clients right now but maybe you're not getting clients because you've stopped doing 
what it is that you thought you believed in and then people couldn't hear you. So believing in yourself is not a sales pitch. It's just the way that your business, you as a CEO, needs to think so that you can help the people you're meant to serve. So I hope that that's helped you understand the one funnel that you need to implement today. And if you want to uh, hear more about making five figures a month, I invite you to uh, sign up for the masterclass, which is tomorrow. You can do so at the link at the bottom of this post. And please share this with anyone if you got any value from it. Um, and, uh, you know, let's light up the world to change. And I'm here every day uh, for the next, I think, like two and a half weeks. I have 30 days of this. <laughs> I'll see you guys later.